so glad you're watching the show. I did not do that announcing well. I apologize. I feel like you totally well, you did. Had, I, you had to follow me from yesterday, and that's rough. <laughs> Well, and that, I that, that so is sorry. You did a good job. I couldn't live Reagan up to was like your this. announcing. No, I'm on the couch. We're on the couch today. On the, in the day, I know. I have so papers, papers everywhere. That I, was like, like, <laughs> I know. What do I do, Brian? Where are you? Come back oh, from Mount. I texted him yesterday and said, "This is unacceptable. He could, he'll be back tomorrow." <laughs> tomorrow. Okay, right. and you're gone. Right in time for me to go to California. Oh, and then I'm. Like, I the usually don't like to work if you're not here. I apologize. So you might not be here either. Thanks. Will you feel better if I'm Thanks. covering? Like you'll see me live on TV on Friday because I'm covering the Pixar Pier Grand opening at California Adventure. Oh, that'll be fun. So and your you're girls on the air. And you're taking your girls. I'm taking my girls. Good. I'm taking my husband who loves lines at Disneyland in June. Mm -hmm. So this is yeah, going to go gonna, very, very yeah, I've well. I've heard they're that's extra exciting. long right now. <laughs> yeah, your husband's going to be a a real treat. But they've switched, you know, the <laughs> roller coaster at California Adventure, the Screamin'? I love that. It is roller now coaster. the Incredicoaster. Coaster. And did they change it? Reimagine. I'll let you know. I don't know. Ooh, fun. So I, I get to fly out tomorrow and then I'm live on the show coming up on Friday. But first, we need to talk about this, everybody. Pamper Your Pops contest. We were talking about it all the last couple weeks. We have a winner in my hot little hand right here. Um, thank you, everyone, for entering. We could not choose from these stories. They were so touching. Uh, so we had to, uh, we had to ask station park in Farmington to help us choose uh -huh. and they said this is the winner Carla Ward from South Jordan she wrote in about her husband he's a firefighter oh he's there handsome he, is. he was injured on the job helping the public and had to have surgery he's doing better we're so happy you get a little extra pampering this year you absolutely deserve it Carla thank you for sending us in that nomination Yay for, for your him. husband I a love deserving it. winner mm -hmm. and we're getting down to the wire on our Utah's Hogle Zoo BFF selfie sweepstakes it's so simple to enter. All you have to do is snap a selfie with your bestie. There's me with mine. And submit it online at goodforutah.com slash contest. If you do, you could win a pair of tickets to the Hogel Zoo. And you have until this Friday, June 22nd, to enter. When it comes to hydrating this summer, what do you two grab? Diet Coke. The biggest size. Wine does not count <laughs> in this conversation at all. Like you, so I don't think you can I, mention that. I really been working on hydrating more. I've, really I, I've been having, yes, I have a water bottle, not on set, but in my car. I do like to leave it behind, but I'm drinking more water. I need to take a picture of the floor of my car because it's there's hilarious. six it's water bottles. Half drink. Like the little plastic ones. Half, half, yeah, half, half drained. I drive my husband nuts because I'll drink a few like swigs Sips. of it and then that's it. Then I'm done with it and I just leave it. And it's So I used to be better. Yeah. I've dipped down in my water drinking and I have to bring it back up. And I had a minute in the mirror this morning where I was like, Diet Coke doesn't count. <laughs> okay. Been drinking Diet Coke? I went back. What? Because I don't it's know why. so I didn't good. Even know. It's I so know. Good. I didn't want to tell you. I like haven't an, even seen that you've been hiding. Feels it. like an intervention. <laughs> it really does. What's so bad about she, Diet Coke? But she stopped drinking Diet Coke it's, for years. So it's not as good for you as water. I don't know if you've heard it's not that. Not bad for you. Well, guess, I guess. It, uh, well, I think it goes. <laughs> No, it's it's horrible for you. It's not good. It's for really you. really it's bad for you. For you. Yeah, the carbonation is bad. Only the the dark color soda is like. It's, I think there's links to like pancreatic cancer and yeah, it's bad. So cool. fitness experts would tell deal. you that if you drown yourself in water, you can still have your Diet Coke. You just uh -huh. gotta up your water oh. intake. Right. Okay. And guess what? That includes sparkling water. If you are a fan of sparkling water, I saw this this morning because my husband just bought a case home of it and threw it in the fridge. Is it as hydrating and good for you as water? Well, the experts say yes. Really? It is. Is it carbonated? Even though it has that mm -hmm. little bit of carbonation, busy. the CDC recommends drinking sparkling water as a healthy alternative to soda huh. and all of those high calorie beverages. But you said you don't like it. I hate that it has no flavor. Um, right, so it's not as exciting. Here's the thing no. though. I don't, I've never had the LaCroix brand, but there's a brand that I buy at Costco. Okay, what about this one? For you. Is it the Buy? Is that, it's not the Buy. Should it's we try it? Else. Which have, do you don't like this one or so, you do? No, actually, actually, I, this one has a little more flavor than so the, the LaCroix. So the flavored ones I like. The stuff that's just sparkling, bubbly, like the drink in like Europe, it. I don't like it. I can't. I would rather it. drink water. Mm -hmm. Would you? Or, like you know when they come to the table and they say tap water, sparkling. You say? I say tap. I say tap. I you say. say Diet Coke. Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> and an no, extra large size. No, thank you. All right, so does it hurt your enamel on your teeth? Experts say it does not because you've heard that about carbonation, that it's breaking down the enamel on your teeth. Um, good news for sparkling water fans. The level of sparkle in that water is different than your soda. So it's actually not har harming your teeth. And then the hydrating part, um, 
doctors say it's actually hydrate like it's a, it's okay to drink it has just that little bit of the carbonation and a lot of the water so it's even as hydrating or more as that cup of coffee that you consider water sparkling water is better for you well it's i mean it's good to know that that's actually hydrating so we can well, grab if it. If you are drinking, like if you're drinking sugar drinks, like you're not even right. drinking the diet, this is a great alternative yeah. that weans you off. Because mm -hmm. the, the sugar, sugar is what eats away at your go. enamel, really. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what the biggest problem is with yes. all the cavities, which I have a million anyway. So I know, so I have a lot of fillings. All right, so I thought this was an interesting topic this morning, and it's um, there was this therapist expert uh, that was interviewed, and he talked about one of the greatest things that you can do for yourself. Uh, it's a life skill that a lot of people aren't doing. And it was something that I was not good at before. And my therapist actually said, you have to learn to be alone and enjoy your own company. So not just be alone. No, be alone. Be but alone, enjoy. enjoy your own company. And, and they don't want you to turn the TV on. They want you to sit there alone for a little bit. And, um, and I thought this, it was hard. It was hard. I mean, it was like a practice that, practice that you have to get used to. Um, and so it says that if you are, if you're never being alone, uh, you're not comfortable with yourself and you are you don't know yourself so when you sit there alone with your thoughts and feelings you start to notice your surroundings you start to think about things in your life and how you want to handle them rather than overloading yourself with trying to be around people or activities or do other things. No, I think it's such a skill for sure. I took a um, personality quiz over the weekend and um, it was one that was pretty in depth and it said like verbatim for my personality type, you go to dark places when you're alone. Like that's what it said, you, your mind goes your mind to wanders. dark places. So I don't know if it's good for me to do that because I get like I get but too don't you, into Okay, my so thoughts, if you go to your you know? dark places, don't you need to know how to deal with those things? I mean, if what, when, when you say like dark places, what do you mean? Then I, like if being with my friends or family, then but they then you're can not help coping with, with those. You're not things. dealing with it. So yeah. that's what this yeah. is. That's why you know, it's it says talent. when you surround yourself with moments of solitude and stillness, you become immediately familiar with your environment, in a way that's forced stimulation doesn't allow you to do. Layers start to peel back. You see things for what they really are in all of their wholeness, all their contradictions, and all their unfamiliarity. See, moms mm. out there, like that moment of solitude. What do you do? It because I had like 30 minutes of it last night and I grabbed my phone. I didn't of course. sit with it. I turned on music. I grabbed my phone. Yeah. I mean, how often are you just sitting? Well, it's with also yourself? a mindset too. Instead of feeling lonely, that it's you get to enjoy your own company instead of sitting there saying, I'm so alone and I feel lonely. You, by the way, though, I mean, you did feel alone. You, I did. This was mm -hmm. not something that just went away mm -hmm. when you get divorced and you don't have your kids that first night. I'll never forget it. Yeah. It's, no, it was, it was so rough and I didn't think I could really cope with it. And obviously, you, you don't have a choice, right? You put one foot in front of the other and you go day by day. But that mindset of I do have this time and I will, I'll learn more about myself. I'll get to know myself better and I'll enjoy it rather than I'm sitting here feeling lonely. But and it's alone. been a process. Yes. It's, it's been a process. It is there didn't happen overnight. Is there a certain time of the day that it says you're supposed to be sitting alone with yourself? It, like doesn't, say. Um, it doesn't it, say. It doesn't say. And I think not everyone can be alone. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you are alone, this is something that you can have time for. Sometimes but it's like I, you said, for moms that need to have some alone time. Sometimes it's hard to I find those Imagine moments. being alone. <laughs> I know. I know. Sometimes you're like dreaming, hoping, wishing, waiting. No, I remember crying alone. going, I'm, I'm alone in my house. And Nisha was like, can I come over? I, know. I just I know. And they're alone screaming behind, behind me. And I go, can I? I, I no, want to do I that. I'm getting one better time. at it, but it's, it's hard. Especially with our personality and like mm -hmm. Sagittariuses, we like, we like our people. We're gregarious for we sure. We totally, totally mm -hmm. are. Okay. Um, well, speaking of like productivity and just like having good skills, how often do you guys wash your jeans? Like, are you so good, I don't are you good at doing your laundry? Because I, either. I like when they get in that comfy. Yeah, Probably yeah. like every three to four times four I times. maybe four. So I would say every seven to eight. I'm probably seven to eight. Okay. I'm more. But I found a great article and I want to show you over here. Walk this on way. home okay. base about how to wash your jeans really without actually washing them. So, Jay, thank you for doing the honors of taking these jeans. I had them in a how cute grocery. Are those jeans, by I the had way. them in a grocery bag because Wait, these are hard to wash because of this, um, right? Yeah. Well, and I I wore them to girls camp over the weekend, so like take a whiff. Oh. <laughs> oh yeah, you sat by a campfire. Huh. <laughs> you wore this to girls camp? So I, well, I came right after the show. On Friday, I went straight I to girls' like I camp. Have and I have special jeans for the men. Exactly, so do I. <laughs> I, I have like. Anyway, like, so these have not so been gross. washed. Like clearly, oh sorry, Nisha, that's right. Messed up your script. <laughs> okay, this like right here, you know, like so like if you have issues where you can actually see the dirt, we should probably be washing them. But say they just smelled bad, 
Then you have other options. <laughs> I love we're doing a close-up of the booty of the like, jean. I know. But that apparently I sat on a marshmallow. You like, sure did. At the campfire. Mm -hmm. Anyway, so they say there are special detergent sprays that you can use, and you can buy them. I sometimes just prefer to use like a light spritzer. So I'm gonna spritzer. try that. Wait, what is it though? Spritzer. What is that? Well, I think it's like Victoria's Secret oh. something. Do you right? like it? No, Reagan hates <laughs> your my face. <laughs> Reagan 101. No, Yay! Sorry. no you're no, fine. She hates me. We're okay. Good. Anyway, <laughs> so we're. <laughs> well, she was like this. Well, I have a smell. I have a smell thing. You do, but do I smell? No. Bad. Okay. Mm -mm. McCall goes focused. Okay. So what we're gonna do is now we spritz them, stick them in this plastic bag, and then. So do you need to spritz with something good smelling, or can I just do water? I think it should be something good that smelling, has a smell. or All just right. like even clean smelling. It doesn't have to be this like vanilla Perfumey. stuff that Reagan okay. wasn't a fan of. So we're gonna stick this into the bag, and then I'm going to actually seal it up and stick it in the freezer because they say that you can like freeze the germs away, like some of really? the bacteria. and the smell will free, and then the smell gets way better. So maybe at the end of the show, we'll Are pull them out. Are you sure it won't smell like campfire, freezer, and spritzer? <laughs> I, I think we should try. test it. Go We're put them in the freezer, it. and at the yeah, end yeah. of the show, we'll okay, see. You guys wrap this up. I'm All right. Go Coming up next on the show, everybody, we have a serious topic uh, that has been in the headlines. It's